Hi, I'm Erin Schrage, Roof Tats Kids Director. I'm so glad you're here for Kids Church today. Your teachers have a great lesson all ready for you. Have fun at Kids Church. Hi there, welcome to Kids Church. My name is Miss Jessica and I'm so glad you're here. I was wondering, do you have a favorite place you like to swim or a favorite vacation spot? Yeah? My kids love to swim, but we're really not sure which places are gonna be open this summer. Remember my son, the inventor that I told you about last week? He's pretty sure he can solve the problem by creating a backyard water park, but I'm not so sure that's a good idea. It does remind me of our Bible story today, though. Sometimes we are so sure we, can, we know the answer to our problem, but Jesus doesn't always do things the way we expect. Before we get to our story, though, does anybody remember our big picture question? Why did God create people? Let's say the answer together. God created people to worship Him, to love Him, and to show His glory. Whenever you read your Bible, remember that God created each person with that purpose. Two weeks ago, we saw how Jesus healed 10 men and only one came back to praise Him and was saved. Last week, Jesus healed a woman and raised a girl from the dead, again showing how He deserves all the glory. In today's Bible story, Jesus healed a man who could not walk. Let's check it out and see what happened. Jesus went to Jerusalem and stood by the pool of Bethesda. Many people were at the pool who were blind, lame, or paralyzed. Jesus noticed a man who could not walk. He had been lying there for a long time. Jesus asked him, do you want to get well? The man answered, Sir, I have no one to put me in the pool when the water is stirred up. Someone else always gets in before me. The man thought if he could get into the water, he would be healed. Jesus told him, get up, pick up your mat, and walk. Right away, the man was miraculously healed. Wow. He picked up his mat and started to walk. This happened on the Sabbath. So the Jews told the man who was healed, it is against the law to pick up your mat on the Sabbath. The man replied, the man who healed me told me to pick up my mat and walk. Who was this man? The Jews asked. But the man who was healed did not know who had healed him. By this time, Jesus had slipped away into the crowd. Later, Jesus found the healed man in the temple. Jesus said to him, See, you are healed. Do not sin anymore, so that something worse doesn't happen to you. Then the man went to the Jews and told them that Jesus had healed him. So the Jews began persecuting Jesus because he was healing people on the Sabbath. Jesus told the Jews, My father is still working, and I am working too. Now the Jews wanted even more to kill Jesus because he wasn't just breaking their rules about the Sabbath. He was saying that God is his Father, making himself equal to God. Jesus is God's Son, and he always did what God said was right. The man at the pool was unable to help himself. Jesus healed him and he obeyed Jesus' commands. In a similar way, we are unable to free ourselves from sin. Jesus calls us to trust in him. When we trust in Jesus, he frees us from the power of sin and death so we can follow him and obey him. I know some of you like swimming, but did you ever think that swimming might heal you? In Jesus' time, people who were sick or disabled went to the pool of Bethesda in Jerusalem in hopes of being made whole. They believed an angel would stir the waters and the first person who got in would be healed. This man had been disabled for 38 years and he had been lying by that pool for a long time. What question did Jesus ask the man? Yeah, he asked him, do you want to get well? The man explained that other people always got there before him. So what did Jesus do next? What did he tell the man to do? Yeah, he just told him to take his mat and walk. Jesus healed a man who was unable to help himself. 
just like we're unable to free ourselves from our sin. But just like he healed the man, Jesus frees us from our sin when we trust in him. Thank you, Jesus, that we can trust in you. I'm so glad you joined us here today. Be sure to check out more activities on our Kids Church page at rooftop.org. Parents will also have more things for you on our Equipping Parents page. Now before you go, let us pray and then we'll sing one more song of worship together. Remember, this song is one of our VBS songs and we hope that you join us at VBS this week. Okay, let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much that you are with us, Lord. I thank you so much that um, you bring your word to us so that we can see your desire to heal us because you love us. Lord, I pray that as we go out this week, that we can stay focused on you and for the truth about you and what you have for us. It's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. Healer. 